alive. You're alive. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Everybody, this is Blue World's very first live stream. And I'm really excited that I'm doing this live stream from Crystal River with Elizabeth from Elizabeth Swims, who is a famous six-year-old swimmer. Seven. I'm oh, you turned seven already? Yeah. Now she's a famous seven-year-old swimmer who has her own YouTube channel. Elizabeth Swims, you should check it out. She was swimming when she was only 16 months old. She could go across an entire pool, which is amazing. And today, we swam together with manatees, and I'm gonna be bringing you that segment like next month, I think. I don't know, soon, very soon. But yeah, so we are right now, we are at Three Sisters Spring in Crystal River. And this is a natural spring where crystal clear water comes up out of the ground. And it's always 72 degrees. It's really warm. And the manatees come here to stay warm. So, you know, it's been really cold in Florida recently. And um, the manatees get cold in the ocean. So they come up into these springs and they rest. And since this is such a great place to see them, um, they've built... A little observation deck up here and people can look at them now of course we were we were swimming with them this morning but we can't swim here because this is a protected area we have to swim a little further down the river but we'll have that video for you but uh, I've got uh, our newest guy newest member of the team Zach Whalen who is joining Blue World on his second shoot and he is shooting some video with his DSLR and a really, really long telephoto lens to try to get the manatees poking their noses above the surface of the water and breathing. And it's proving to be difficult. <laughs> and Elizabeth is observing the animals. You know, we should have brought you here before we swam with them because, you know, then you'd have more of a feel for what they look like. But instead, we just threw you in the water, the freezing cold water this morning. But you were awesome. And Todd vanished. And this is Adam, Elizabeth's dad. She doesn't just she doesn't just come out by herself. You know, she's got her dad with her. And uh, the, so let me see what else can I tell you that's really really exciting here. What else can we tell them, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> Zach is at a loss for I'm words. At a loss for words. No, it's it's a loss it's a for words. Full natural spring. Um, we've got. The manatees are actually eating the vegetation on the edges here because there's no food for them up here. They're coming up here to stay warm during the winter, but they kind of starve because there's nothing for them to eat. So one of the things we're watching is them actually eating the roots and the moss on the edges of the spring here just to get a little something in their belly. Hey, you, you can see them every once in a while. They'll stick their heads up right up and try to grab grass off the shore. But it's pretty interesting to watch. Oh, there's a, the is there a satellite? Oh, there's a yeah. satellite tag. So if you look... Well, it's really far away on the phone. Can you pinch and zoom? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. So if you look over there, it looks like there's something floating in the water, kind of blue and red. So that's a manatee that has a satellite tag on it. They put a little loop around its tail and then they float a little satellite buoy behind it. And now you might think that that's bad, but in fact, if, if it gets stuck on anything, there's a part that breaks and it comes free. So the animal would not be ensnared by that. Does anybody know where Todd went? The minute we started the live stream, cameraman Todd vanished. I have a feeling that there was a bathroom break involved. All right, what else we got going? All right, Zach has taken over the the Sony rig. So I, I tell you guys, this is this is uh, this is one of our favorite cameras to use. It's a Sony uh, Z100, which is a uh, 4K camera that can shoot 60p. And and what I like about that is we can do awesome slow mo. Um, and uh, your basic tripod. And we have the convenience today of standing on this nice flat deck, which is cool, except there's only one problem, is that when people walk by, it vibrates it. So, yeah, if you're hyper, <laughs> it vibrates the camera. We have a million comments going by, and I'd like to point something out. Since I've never done a live stream, I have no idea how this works. So I'm learning today as we go, and Adam was was teaching me and right now there's tons of comments coming up my screen I've been seeing that we have 105 people watching and we have some thumbs up 
and the the comments are coming up so fast that so I can't so even you, answer them. So what do I do? Them. I can Let's pause them. them. But then you have to catch up with all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, hey, all of you that are writing in, uh, thank you for doing that. This is awesome. Uh, I'm 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 not focusing well on. <laughs> on what I'm shooting because I'm reading all the stuff that's coming up on the screen on my phone and um, To answer the question that keeps coming up over and over and over again. What's the deal with the megalodon teeth? Um, we shipped about a hundred teeth out um, in the last two weeks and we have no more teeth So um, if you won you will get one in the mail uh, If you didn't you'll hopefully you'll win something in the next giveaway. It won't be our last giveaway. Hi from Sweden Hi from Germany. Hi from your biggest fan <laughs> hey, this is great. I love this. This is so much it's fun. A lot of fun <laughs> this is great. Uh, a lot of times, what we'll do on our channel is we'll steer the conversation. So we'll say, "What's your favorite place to go swimming?" or "What you know, what kind of zoos do you like to go to?" or something like that. So, um, so that's what we do on our channel when we go live. I'm kind of curious. How many of you have seen a manatee in in real life? I happen to think they're cool. Hi from Indiana. Hi from California. Hi from Italy. Can you drink the water? I think you can, but the manatees pee in it. <laughs> yeah, let's see, what else? Hi from Israel, Scotland, Italy, New Zealand. Please mention me. Hi from Sweden, <laughs> Norway, Connecticut. This is crazy. People all over the world are watching manatees at this very moment. It's crazy. <laughs> there they are. Let's walk around a little bit here. I'm gonna go over here. Na -na -na -na. I'm going to walk down here a little ways, see if we get a different angle. You can see from this angle the, how big the spring is. It's kind of long. And then this, all the water that's in here is super clear. I mean, you can see the bottom. It's kind of reflecty, but you can see the bottom really well. I'd say the visibility in here is at least 100 feet. And so if, you're, if you got to go, back in the old days, you got to go in here, but... Um, these days they're not letting us in, but I don't know if we can see anything from on this side. You can just see from over here just how incredibly blue that water is. Just that crystal clear spring water coming out that's super warm and the manatees are just chilling. I see a satellite. I do. I see the satellite tag too. Right, you can see it through the trees here. Let's see if I can get a better view of the satellite tag. And there it is, floating along, and it's got uh, it's got a little antenna poking up, and that's um, how it reports its position to the GPS satellites, and they can track these things online. I think there's probably a website you can go to to, to figure it out if this is if they're like yeah, the sharks. Sort of sharks yeah. So let's see. We're live streaming. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's check it out. We're going down here. Is there anything else exciting down here? I think we're getting further from the water on this side. I think we might want to go back to the other side. Oh, Scotland says hi. The UK, Poland, India. What is what time is it in India? Shouldn't you go to bed? Is it is it bedtime? Good grief. What time is it here? It's quarter of four where I'm at in Florida right now. Quarter of four p.m. And I think the light is starting to get kind of dim. And um, you would think that it would be warm here, um, but it's kind of cold. And uh, I can say that because I'm from Boston where it's really cold. So it is kind of chilly. Did we lose Todd completely? Did he just totally vanish when we went live? Wow, this is cruel. I can't believe how many comments are coming. <laughs> I think you're Elizabeth's favorite part of her date right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask me questions. Or if you want to, yeah, if you want to. I just saw one green. Anybody have any manatee related questions? Manatees are breathing. Hi from South Africa. Dude. Todd has been consumed. Jay McCracken, you're right. I think the manatees ate him. How much does a manatee weigh? Well, this is a wonderful question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm not a 
a manatee expert, um, but it does, they can get up to 600 and 800 pounds. Um, when they're newborns, they weigh more like 40 pounds. And they're cuter, because oh, yeah. they're tiny. Yeah, they're little, uh, they're just little guys, just a few feet, and they have dark skin, um, but there's lots of calves in here with their moms. And in fact, we saw a calf nursing from its mom. And the interesting thing about manatees is their closest land relative is an elephant and they have nipples in their armpits. Yeah, it's true. And so when you see a calf nursing, they have their, they, they're sort of clamped on to their mom's armpit. Are they endangered? Audrey asks, are they endangered? Well, they were recently taken off of the endangered species list, so now they're considered threatened. Is that true? So they, they threatened. They are still listed, un, listed under the Endangered Species Act, but as threatened rather than endangered. So they do have the same protections as they would be if they're listed as endangered, um, but it's showing that they are improving. They are. It's a, it's a little piece of good news in the world. Manatees are actually on the rebound, thanks to 30, 40 years of 40 years of protection. How do they sleep? <laughs> like doing. like logs. <laughs> but they breathe every five to seven minutes when they're sleeping. They probably don't even wake up to do that. The real question is, do they snore? That's the question. <laughs> do they have bad breath? Yes, they do. They have some bad farts too. Oh yeah, they fart a lot. It smells a lot like a cow farm here. We're pr we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get some video tomorrow underwater of farting. <laughs> Did they really? Huh? Did they really? Oh, they fart a ton. Wow. Yeah, because they they're like cows. They eat yeah, nothing guess, but plants, right? So yeah, they they have that same cow methane, you know. <laughs> Well, I was really hoping Todd could be in our video, but he seems to have gone off somewhere. <laughs> You're in a way. WNC10 wants to be mentioned. Consider yourself mentioned, my man. <laughs> Logan Paul Vlogs wants to know how much they eat in a day. Half their body weight. Half their body weight? They're eating 400 pounds of plants. Oh, then they are it's like, that is a big salad, I'm just saying. And they don't even get to put any salad dressing on it. You gotta eat it like totally plain. Yeah, they don't have anything but plants in Me it. Me Awesome Vlogs went, your, went for the first scuba dive. That's awesome. Sending love from Boston, cold Boston. <laughs> This is, this is so fun. This is great. The winds are freezing. The, the winds are freezing. I'm going to walk down and see if we find Todd. I'm going to walk down these steps here. Da -da -da -da. See if we can find cameraman Todd. I don't know where he went. I hope he didn't go to one of those porta potties because i got to tell you. Oof. Do, 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 do. We're walking down here. Look at all those manatees through there. There must be a hundred of them in here. That's another spot for them. <laughs> Here's Elizabeth. You guys have to check out her channel. It's called Elizabeth Swims. Tell me what you do in your channel. We just mostly like swim and find new pools and then play in them. Are you like a professional pool tester? Yeah. <laughs> if there's a dedication to a pool, we go to it and we're the first one to jump in. And today was your first time swimming with wild marine life, right? Yeah. So that was pretty awesome. What did you think of the manatees underwater? Were they scary? Yeah, they are really big. And the water was kind of murky yeah. until we got close to the clear water in the spring. And then the whole thing got clear. And once you get into that clear water, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Now we're at the other end of the, sp of the spring. 
there's a ton of animals down here. We gotta look for Todd. He is like gone. Let's see. So this is another great observation point and the animals are really close. So this will be cool. The light's kind of in the wrong direction. I need a polarizer on my phone, but I can look right down. So here's Elizabeth Dad, and here's the manatees. So the polarizer takes that glare off? Yeah, I've got one on the big camera and it's like, like wearing polarized sunglasses, it just cuts the glare. You can see right into the water. But I don't have one on my iPhone. I'm gonna have to get one for my iPhone if I'm gonna keep doing stuff like this. Yeah, we're gonna have to get one. I didn't even know that was a Oh, look at this, look at this. One of the animals with the satellite tag is right here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little. And you can see on the right side of the screen, the belt that goes around the, the narrow part in front of their tail, that's called the caudal peduncle, if you wanna be technical about it. Cause the fin, the back of their tail is called the caudal fin. C-A-U-D-A-L. And then there's um, a white rod, so plastic bendy rod, that goes up to the satellite tag, which has got a float, so it's floating. And um, if that thing were to get tangled somewhere, the, the animal would be able to break it free because there's a, a, a weak link that can break. So it should not allow the animal to be harmed. But usually what happens is when they have re um, rehabilitated animals that they've re-released into the wild, they put a tag on them for a little while just to make sure that they're okay. No. And then once they know the animal's okay, they'll take it off. But that way, if, if the animal gets stuck somewhere or gets sick or washes up on a beach or something, they can find it because they have the satellite tag. And we've got, I can't even, one, one, two, three, there's like four of them like piled up over there, five or six of them. There's a whole pile of them and they're all just sleeping. And if you watch them for a while, you realize that they're, they're really just sleeping. They're not doing anything very exciting. And then they rise up to breathe sort of on autopilot about every five minutes. Greetings from ice cold Finland. Nice. Hmm, do they bite? Um, if they do bite, Jeff 935 shark. If they do bite, it would be a very harmless bite. No, they don't bite. They, they have molars way in the back of their mouth for grinding up plants, um, but they don't really have sharp teeth. And I think if they bit you, they would probably gum you and it wouldn't hurt at all. <laughs> Highlight zone, hi from Canada. Woohoo! Where's Todd? We don't know where the heck Todd went. Todd's just not gonna be in this video. So we're live. Or we're watching you live, film wait. live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, you're watching us live. All right, wait, you're watching us live. Ooh, that's not much of a delay. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna give me brain head. <laughs> My brain's gonna hurt doing that. I don't know where Todd went. Do you think he's alive? Do you think the manatees ate Todd? I'd call him on my phone, except that I'm live streaming with it right now. Ciara Tanner coming from Ireland. Wow, awesome, Ireland. I really, really, really want to go to Ireland. They don't have manatees, but they have so much good diving there. They have basking sharks. All right, well, this is a pretty good view. Um, I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to sign off from Three Sisters and um, when we find Todd, maybe we'll do another live stream. <laughs> back at the hotel? Yeah, might have to be back at the hotel, right? Yeah. Every, everybody, this is pretty exciting, but you know, maybe putting together cameras is not as exciting as this, but all right. So everybody, thank you very, very much for watching our very first live stream. And I also want to thank Adam from Elizabeth Swims for teaching me how to actually do it. And Elizabeth for being our awesome collaborator today. And you'll see that episode coming up. And until that next time we speak, I uh, hope you have a very good afternoon or evening. And if it's your bedtime, go to bed. All right. Good night. <laughs>